God, I'm just happy to be playing the game. I'm sick of waiting out this garbage ass frame drop bullshit. I, I, I'm sorry if I sound more salty than I did earlier. I was having fun, goddammit. I didn't want it to get ruined by this, by the rain, man. Mother Nature's trying to ruin my Wednesday night. It's supposed to be Happy Hump Day, man. How dare you, Mother Nature? How dare you? Was this? this is, I don't think I talked to this guy. Have I? Is this or is this the armor guy? Need something sharp. This is the weapon guy, right? Like I haven't talked to him yet. Have we? No, we have not. Sick. I can fix my shit up or sell some shit. Here, you can have this shit. You can have this shit. You can have this shit. You can have some of this shit. Some more of this shit. What else can he have? All this armor that I picked up that I don't need. Freya was warrior armor. That sounds pretty sick. Too bad I don't need it. Wow, terrible light armor. Good lord, get out of my house. You're garbage. Level 4 ass armor. Get the fuck out of here. Garbage. You bunch of garbage. Nah, what I wanted to look at is what he can fucking craft me. Can he craft the weapons? The griffin sword. Okay, so griffin sword will require a silver ingot, and then I can make it. I might be able to make that right now if I can make myself a silver ingot. Let me see. Silver ingot, silver ingot, where you at? Where you at? I can make a sword. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mama. Ooh, mama. There goes that silver ingot, baby. All right. That means I can make a pretty slick silver sword. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, we got a better silver sword. And I'm about the steel. The Ooh, I can make the steel counterpart as well. Oh, man. We're going to have the whole griffin set except for that one fucking piece because I don't have the damn... I'm missing one piece of the components. Can I craft? No, I probably can't craft that thing. I have to go back to the shop and check. I don't think it was a crafting thing. I think it was literally an item I'm missing. I'll have to double check. If it's something I can craft, man, I should have checked. Anyway, hell yeah, dude. So long. Hell yeah. We just got ourselves a new weapon set. I'm pretty hyped about it. Griffin set for the win. Booyah and booyah. Hell yeah. We should put some sockets in these swords. I haven't been doing that. I've been lazy as fuck on putting shit in my weapons. Like seriously. What, what do all these things do? I haven't even been looking at them. Bleeding. Stun. Do I have any better ones? These are all lesser. All I have is lesser ones. I guess these are re the regular ones are just labeled as regular. Freeze, stagger, armor piercing, attack power. Hmm. I'm going to put this one on the silver. And I'm going to put... Nice. Yeah, now that you're set on Witcher gear, selling gear is going to be very straightforward because a few things to compare. Yeah, exactly. That's what I figure. Once I get some better shit that I can, like, craft, I can just sell everything I find unless it's, like, amazing. Um, I'm going to put the stagger one on my steel weapon, actually. That sounds like a good idea. As for my armor, we have at least one slot on my armor I can put on as well. So... Um... These are just all sign intensities, huh? Well, let's let's put uh, my let's 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 up my fire game. I'm down. All right, cool. In which case, let me sell my other two swords real quick, just so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Need some. Just gonna get rid of them so I have cl a clean inventory. Just gonna sell these other two swords. So like, even though I spent money on the sword, it, it you know it served me well. Now we can move on from it. And this one I just picked up, so it's fine. Might be worth respecting heavy into signs while you have this though. So I'm not respecting anything, oh. Atticus. I'm rolling with the stats I chose to level up. Speaking of which, do I have any character ability points I haven't been using? I do not. I still haven't even hit level 12 today, guys. I was level 11 when I started the stream. We've been just spending a lot of time doing story shit that hasn't given me that much experience because I'm already level 11. But we'll get to level 12 here today for sure. I don't know. I knew Novigrad because I like when we got here, it was going to be a big ordeal because it's a big city, town, whatever. 
Also, there is an exclamation point here. Hold up. What's up, Nidus? A witcher? Oh, do you hear about the notice by chance? I don't know. What notice? Is it a notice I haven't picked up yet? But what's it about? It might be. I hear right. You're going on some voyage. Need a companion. Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. Well, if he's going to Skellige, one, we're going to save this for later. Most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Sometime. Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? I mean, I guess I'll do it. Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Alright, we'll meet that I fool in Skellige then. We're already headed that way eventually anyways, because that's where Siri apparently headed as well. So that works out. Something to do when we go there. Speaking of speaking of do, something to do when we go there, I want to look at my quest list. I've been picking up quests a lot here. I just want to see what kind of levels of the quest I picked up were, yeah. Some of the stuff I picked up here in Novigrad look at level 20 plus. Yeah, we're just going to have to go through this and just, like, knock out more of this low-level shit later. Just for, like, funsies, you know? I got hella contracts and shit. See, I'm not even level 12 yet, so I don't even want to do that level 12 contract yet. But yeah. I think we're, we're good just continuing on the story until at least I'm level 12. Anyway, more loot. Taking all your shit. Soup. Holy moly. Oh, snap. That's a raid coming in, y'all. Thank God my stream is stabilized enough to accept the raid properly. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that raid. Defective Ash. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Uh, welcome to the stream, Raiders. Um, I am Funky G. I'm playing Witcher 3. We're here in Novigrad right now, just kind of doing things and making things happen. I was having some stream issues earlier that seem to have mostly ironed themselves out. If I do happen to drop off again, you can blame the rain. For some reason over here in California, we're having some rainy issues that are affecting my internet. But hey, Ash, how are you doing? Welcome. What were you playing today? Somebody want to give her a shout out? Anybody in the chat if you're here? Uh, Morrow or somebody could possibly uh, give Ash a shout out if, if um, you're here, Dragon, maybe. Because um, I know DJ already went off for the night. Uh, Witcher's been going pretty good, though. I'm enjoying this game a lot. It's pretty fucking awesome. I'm having a hard time not just doing side quests all the time because, Jesus, there's so many and I want to do them. Toss a coin to your buggo. Welcome to the stream, Weiss Vice. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Weiss Buggo. How you doing? Anyway, you're doing good. You were playing some Skies of Arcadia Legends. Okay, I did see you were playing that yesterday, I think it was, when I was going to raid yesterday. But I haven't played that game yet. It's on my long, long RPG to-do list. I will play Skies of Arcadia one of these days. But, uh, yeah, I've heard it's pretty good. I know it's pretty good. I just need to play it. Nice dude. So yeah, I hope, hope you're enjoying Skies of Arcadia. And you're almost done with it. That's cool to hear. It's been a blast so far. That's good to hear. I'm gonna loot all your shit, even all your broken wrecks. Give me shit, give me shit, give me all your shit. Hey. I don't know what. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what room she's staying in, but like. Is there. There doesn't seem to be rooms down here. There must be an upstairs. Ugh, got a sharp pain in my spine. 
stop pain in my spine. Ooh. Shows you how much I don't give a shit about your pain in your spine, bitch. Oh, upstairs, duh. This way. All right, we're here. I'm making a call upon the lady in her room. But will it be that kind of call? Let's find out. Hello, hello, lady. Wait, hold up. Anybody in this room? This is from. This looks like a storeroom. Hold up. I got more shit to steal. Hold up. Loot it all. A sword for witches, huh? Okay. Take in all your shit. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want to go up there. Taking all the shit because I'm a fucking greedy bitch. My inventory is not even half full, dude. I'm taking all this shit. You can't stop me. Yeah, since so she's playing Skies of Arcadia Legends, I assumed it was the GameCube version because I don't think that version came out on Dreamcast. But I'm aware the original version is a Dreamcast game. Faux show. Sure. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure Legends is just a port that might have some extra stuff, maybe. There's a reason why I put my money into buying the GameCube version a long ass time ago. I just never fucking played it. Anyway, Corinne, I'm here to talk to you. What's up, girl? A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Oh boy. Oh boy, I have to do the old man voice while we do this part. This is going to be great, but the good thing about doing it during this game is that... Wait, that, that's not my old man voice, is it? That's more just like my old lady voice. <laughs> but anyway, I'll do the old person voice after this conversation, because this is going to be some dialogue right now. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this, and though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Well, alrighty then. Let's do this! Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. Oh boy. What for? Here we go. Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri woman's name is Siri uh she was there when I died okay I'm gonna go with the training one Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard I had no idea what to do with a young girl so I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to care more in figured some physical training sword work development of her stamina couldn't hurt I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Wow. I can actually just go through all the times I know of her. All right, let's hear the stories about Siri. Why not? I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. 
didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Ciri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny? By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Sure. Yes. If you've seen no, The Witcher show, wish. we have time. They actually do uh, have have um, a whole part where they basically have that story he just told right there, which is kind of cool. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen, after the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? They're so intense! I have one more. I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Uh, they call her the Lady of Space and Time. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No when a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Sure. Yeah. There's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Sure, why not? Yeah, there's something else. Let's get to the last one. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Probably Dandelion, because I feel like Yennefer and Triss, she just walked right on by them. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot.
I like how she just started knitting. Like, apparently that's how we do seances. Hey, look, it's Dandelion, I think. Interesting vision. <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Thyme in their will. The Rosemary and Thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Of course he did. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Same. All right, that young whippersnapper really helped an old witcher friend out. Now I can properly go find my my daughter before I get too old to catch up with her. But thank you, Corin Telly. If only I was about 50 years younger, I'd tear that ass apart. But this old witcher's gonna have to move on to go find his daughter. So away we go. I don't remember how to get out of this place. My memory isn't what it used to be. I believe the staircase was over here in the corner. Okay, yes, there it is. Yes. What did I did I spot some men fist fighting when I came into the bar? Also, thank you for giving effective ass that shout out. <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you very much for giving that shout out to the effective ash. My old feeble fingers would have done the shout out myself, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave the game for one minute. It might have taken me an eternity to get back into the game. Thank you very much, Morrow. I really do appreciate you and everything that you do. Anyway, these barbarians over here beat the ever living snot out of each other, and I just can't bring myself to join in until I until I get a good night's rest. I will check the shop real quick because I want to make sure they don't have anything that I want to buy. They definitely have some of these 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 cards. These cards that I don't happen to already own as part of my collection. I'm gonna buy all of them, I think. And I would never be sarcastic about everything that you are, Maro. So don't, don't you dare think ill of the words that come out of my mouth. No siree. How dare you even think otherwise. My cards deck are gonna be unstoppable someday. Not today, though. I only got to add four cards to my collection. Anyway, it's about time this old man visited a brothel because I just can't seem to get it up with a, any random woman anymore, so I rely on the ladies of the night to help me with my my bedroom issues, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, 
I'm gonna head over to the Rosemary in oh, time and see my old friend Dandelion to see if he's aged as much as I have. Something tells me he's still a young whippersnapper like he always was. Ah. I hope he sings my favorite song. You know, the one that has something about them tossing coins at me or whatever? That's my favorite song. Oh, how I miss it so. I hope the new season of the Witcher show has that song back, because that song's the best. Hello, strumpet. I'd go back to your place, but I don't want to get lost. You know, somebody yelling at me about water? I don't understand your, your weird words, sir. I'm just here to find my good friend Dandelion. My friend, I'm here. Open up. Don't make me break down the window, because I'll fucking do it, man. I'll never come back, you stinking stadges. Ah, uh, maybe that. We want oh, shit. I just heard the voice of Zoltan. <laughs> Uh, Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Well, 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 it's my old friend Zoltan. I hope he's still running that coat. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment? Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Like old times, my friend, let's beat the fuck out of some vagrants, shall we? These vagrants won't know what hit them, except for they know exactly who whooped that candy ass. It's the man with the grayest of hair and the yellowest of eyes. Yeah. A man named Jerry of Rivia. Jerry of Rivia. It's not one to fuck with. Oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, know you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. Say I'd withered one more time. I know I'm getting old in my age, but come on, man. I'm not that withered yet. All right, I think that's where we're going to stop on the voice for now. <laughs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, by chance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her! Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? It's a Siri. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Well, where the fuck's he at? And also, you're welcome, Frog. Thanks for redeeming that. It's been a while since anybody redeemed the voice stuff, so I I uh, appreciate it. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just better return that you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. A 
Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Well, all right. We're going to search the ground floor for clues of Dandelion, because even... Even Zoltan doesn't know where the hell he's at. There's a letter from Fran, though. Oh boy, now we get to do Russian accent. A from a oh boy. News. Reading someone else's letters. Hmm. Well, Ten barrels when I get another free dry. moment, I'll, I'll do Five the accent. Right now we're knee. in the middle of more talking. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Uh. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Uh, that could help. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. I'll be next door, he says. Okay. Well, I'm going to be, be here just looting the rest of the crap here, which is what I was in the middle of doing when I accidentally picked up exactly what I needed to pick up, which is not what I expected to do. But what I do expect to do is bust out a little bit of Russian funky accent for your ear, ear holes. Russian funky is here to tell you about Geralt of Rivia and how many... Accomplishments he has attained in his lifetime. First accomplishment, slamming ass cross world. First, first ass he slammed, as I can recall, was beginning of Witcher 1. I believe we fucked Triss as hard as possible. She wanted round 2 in Witcher 2, so we took her to the baths and turned her lights on all the way, as they say in other countries. Namely, Mother Russia. The problem is, in this game, to bang Triss a third time to complete the trilogy, we will have to spurn our one and only Yennefer, who we have not banged at all in the series. Do we do this, or do we not? What I do, though, is... Geralt of Rivia is man of culture. A man who sits down, enjoys his vodka, and contemplates the life. <laughs> Sorry. I'm running out of, like, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm over here looting. Sorry. <laughs> also, I can't stop. I never stop, Vinisho. I never stop. I will stop accent when Funky is ready to stop. Geralt of Rivia never stops. He never stops never stopping. And that is the best part about the Geralt of Rivia. If I could remember more of Geralt's accomplishments, I would recite them to you in full. But I've never been one to go through and explain a man's accomplishments one by one. Without forgetting one or two along the way. But I do believe if I could sing this song in Russian accent, I would. There's at least one tale where he tosses a coin to your witcher. 
when a humble bird went on to ride along with him. But I do not recall exactly how that story went. All I know is elves were involved, they broke his loot, and kicked in his teeth. <laughs> I have not done Russian accent in so long, I'm sure it is very low quality this time, but I am so sorry that you must be subjected to such crap. Next time, I hope to be more practiced. Anyway, Vini Show, welcome to stream. I hope you are having a very good night. And I am enjoying the game very well. The problem tonight has mostly been with my internets and the failures that the, the mother nature has caused upon me. But I have gotten past said issues for now and hope that the rain will not fuck us over for the rest of the night. Yes. I believe to accomplish next goal in quest, I must read Dandelion's notebook of busies he has banged and fucking visit each one of them at their address. So we will do that. Rosa var atere, like a rosa bashed of its true hue, fair rosa would stink into humorous blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa is Gildorf, Molly. Molly. Ah, that is one girl. Molly, however, though she, well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust embrace. Gildorf, villa next to the morgue. Vespula, however, though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asked, ever did had a big dipper. Four corners, laundry near mouth of the pontar. pontar. Marabella, however, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. The beats near Popper Square. And last but not least on list is Ellie Hall, a figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Taylor's shop across from the tannery. That is lots of girls I must visit. Hopefully they are all marked on map, otherwise this is going to be pain in ace. It looks like they are all on list, so let's go visit all the busies on the list. Also, Funky has reached level 12 with Geralt of Rivia, so let's use this extra blue point on something that we can fill in new slot with. I shall prefer red or green to take advantage of attack power and vitality mutagens. All right, I'm done with the Russian accent. <laughs> Russian accent is hard when I haven't done it in a while. It's been a while, man. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, do I do the strong attack increase? Can I go down it like to this level now? Uh, I need to do three more unlocks to get anything else in this area. Okay, so either we're gonna increase strong attack, bow. Uh, no, this is this is bow. This is to parry. Deflect arrows repairing, and this is to, you know what? Fuck it. Strong attacks. <laughs> Not even gonna question it. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it on the ba 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 ba. I'm gonna put it on this slot. I'm gonna put my igni thing on this slot. Hell yeah. And then when this mutagen slot opens up down here. At level 15 and 16, boom. I'm going to have another blue one. Or, well, maybe I'll just get another red one. But I'm going to put my other blue one down here. And then I'll put the blue mutagen thing here. And we're going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be great. All right. Anyway, let's go visit some hoes. Double shakes. Maybe I should look at the map just to see how spread out they are. Like, who's, who's actually the closest? Okay. So there's one down here. One over here. And the other three are way the fuck over there. All right, well, let's get the two that are south first, then. Which difficulty am I rolling with in a show? I am just playing this on basically normal difficulty, um, just so I can enjoy the game. I mean, there's been some pretty good challenge with some of the fights. I've died several times, so, you know, it's to be expected that, uh, you know, playing it on normal to enjoy myself. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay, 
Damn. Help! What you what fuck are these for, clowns? What are you hoping for? I'm about to fuck some clowns up, armor. Yeah. Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Are you calling a Greyhead bitch? This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine, bitch. Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh, we're fucking him up. All right. Right, we're trying out our new griffin sword. Hell yeah. Eat my griffin sword, bitch. You don't want none of my sick griffin shit. Ow, ow, ow. I said, you don't want none of my sick griffin shit, bitch. Right. What? No need to thank me. It was nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Oh well. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't. Wait. Wait. I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when. Well. When you kicked Dandelion out through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Fucking trollop. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Well then. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, <laughs> sudsy! Maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Very possible. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claims she was his niece from Covia. Ah, Horvia, more likely. <laughs> Horvia. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Well, okay then. Uh, uh, thanks and good luck. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. It'd be nice if he dropped by. Damn, she really wants that Dandelion dick still, even though he, he, fuck, he fucking messed around on her multiple times. She still wants that D. Dandelion must throw it down. Anyway, I'm glad, uh, you know, you're excited about this playthrough finish show. Um, this game is your all-time favorite. It seems to be a lot of people's favorite game. Like, I, I, get, I guess I get it, because this game's pretty awesome. I have no complaints about it, really. I mean, I've enjoyed this game thoroughly so far. I really don't have anything to complain about. My only complaints right now are solely due to my internet being bullshit, and I'm losing frames again. God damn it. Wait, oh, it's a guy, not a girl. Okay, well, hello. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. He's gonna go get dressed up as a woman now. Wow, he really is. I was joking, but I guess I wasn't. Any better? That's hilarious. So you're 
Anyhow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Uh... And then... <laughs> and then... What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Okay. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. Kalkstein! If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Rip Square. Rip Cockstein. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. He doesn't just suck a hard cock. No, no, no. He's sucking on flaccid cock. Got him. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. well, Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. I managed to stay interesting also, bitch. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Certainly. I guess if I want to look dapper as fuck, this is the man to look for. Greetings. I am actually curious what he sells. Just to Glad see. To take it. Of course, please. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got stuff for a quest. That is even more interesting, actually. Yeah, this stuff's not going to be for armor. It's just for looks. But he does sell masks for a masquerade ball, which means I can. I probably just need to pick a mask for the ball. I'm going to take the wolf mask, because fuck yeah. I don't know, should I take all the masks? Maybe I need them all. I don't know. Fuck it, take them all. Maybe we need all of them. So I probably long. just get to pick a mask, but I'll take them all. Why not? I'll take the lot, as Harry Potter would say. All right, let's get back into town and hit up the other three BZs. Let's see if they're actually all BZs. Marabella Molly and Rosa Var Arter Atre Atri Atter I don't know how you say that. That all sounds like people we haven't met, so or those all sound like females is what I mean to say. Definitely people we haven't met. That name that Vespula name did sound familiar, so I'm kinda glad they explained because I do recall that name. So that was a girl we did meet before. Who's screaming? I kinda wanted to see who was screaming. Life sweat enough in the gutter. Oh, Where are we at on the map? Real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, so there's... Oh, man, there's an exclamation point. Uh, I want to see what that exclamation point is. Ah, I'm too curious. Okay, hold on. Ah, I need to know. Plus, there's uh, the, the other notice boards over here, which is one of the things I wanted to check out. Oh, right. All right, there it is. Let's see what's going on over here. Hello? Hello, preacher. Courage to repeat that slander to my face. Yeah, to my face, bitch. Readily. 
You are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. <laughs> shut up or I'll make you shut up. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question, how many? Zero, bitch. There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Got him. Put that little bitch in his place. Get fucked, homie. I guess that was just like a nice little extra event for some extra points. I'll take it. Put that fucker in his fucking place, homeboy. Oh, wait. I need to go further over there. What are all these people screaming about? I don't get it. Fucking shut up. Bunch of screaming dummies. Just cut it out. You act like Jack the Ripper's over here murdering y'all. Shut the fuck up. Damn, drunk dudes everywhere. So we've already been on this board, but it already has another new quest. Most honorable townspeople, please remember to warn any passers by who might come to the chamber pods. Actually, we read that one already. Stay out of the sewers. Did we read these ones already? Widower, 60 years of age, minimum height, above average intellect, possessing a fortune, both species and race at low state. Oh. I see. Haunted house and a cheating merchant. Didn't I? Uh. What's he doing? Is that not the quest we already did? I don't even know. I thought I already picked that quest up. Maybe I did it and then I lost my save or something? I don't really know. I, I don't know. We have the quest now, so whatever. It's in there. It's in there. Alright. We're going to work our way up to this next female to the north side. Where there's another request board. I'm trying to make sure we pick up all the request board stuff. Toss a coin to your V-tree. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, that's a coin Ooh. to your beecher. He's a friend like of right. monetary. All right, here's the other notice board. Let's see what's up. Oh, just a bunch of notices. No actual thing. One in Triss Marigold. How dare you? You wear a thief. Quick coin in a pinch. Reminder. Warning. Wow. So the clever fuck who's been relieving himself of my doorframe every night. You're fucking dead. Stay out of the sewer. So no new quest there. Anyway, one of the girls is right here. Let's uh let's visit her. Hello, hello. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. I need to speak to good golly Miss Molly. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters, and my son. What? You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I feel your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. 
But one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Baroness's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. Gotta wonder if Molly fell for the nephew or his inheritance. We cannot know that just yet. But either way, she has strong feelings for both. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Uh, sure, why not? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Okay, then. Guess we'll ride out with this douchebag. Fun times. Hopefully we just kind of go there and appear there and don't have to follow this guy. Escort style, no thank you. Nobody likes an escort mission. Nobody knows. A few hours later. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey's a good color. Even looks good on horses. <laughs> My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retaining, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Oh boy. Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. I'd rather resolve things with Molly. Well, there she is. See the slim young woman? Resolve what you must. I shall play the horses for a time. If you wish, we can ride back to the city together. Can I still race him? I kind of wanted to race him. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to. Damn it, I should have just said yes. I fucked up. Anyway, I just need to get down there and talk to her. How do I get down there? Hello? 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 Okay, I guess I have to go around and then up the stairs. Anyway, good golly, Miss Molly. What's up, girl? Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the black stallion and the grey mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Uh... Actually... That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any <laughs> Never idea where mind. our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. What's the time in all this? But... Oh, maybe 
maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Wait. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the Lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship? Of course not. Sweetiekins couldn't be happier that Dandelion's raising me sophistication. Sophistication. Anyway. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's another busy he was banging. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing, Domino. Doubt this one, doubt Landy Lion likes this one for her wits. Indeed. Also, welcome to the stream, Domino. How you doing tonight, man? Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. That's wonderful. You'll never see him again. You'll you'll never see him. Can I race this guy? Because I really did want to race him. I feel like I fucked it up though. <sighs> anyway, I can either go on my own or with this guy, but I just want to race this guy. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll just go back with him. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Anyway, you're doing good there, Domino. Feeling comfy? Got a blanket and a slice of sugar pie. What the fuck is sugar pie? Unless it's like the song. Sugar pie, honey bunch. Don't you know I need you? Oh, I can't help and myself. Thank you. I want comfort. you and nobody Likewise. else. See ya. Woo! Anyway, let's get on. I just wanted to race this guy. I don't really want to talk to him. I just wanted to race him, but apparently that's not an option anymore. Oh, fucking well. Alright, two more BZs to go check. Marabella and Rosa. Free karaoke indeed. I haven't thought of that song in a while, but hearing the name Sugar Pie just made me think of it for sure. You're welcome for the free karaoke, though.